Hello, I am Sahil from Sarafather.com and today we can see how to install e CP control panel. So here is uh, our operating system is a Debian. So first we'll download the e CP sources from site www.ehcp. dot net e at cp and this called latest dot tgz so from here <coughs> so now we have the script and we can extract the script with zxvf e at cp dot tgz and enter star minus z x v f e x z b latest After the extracting, we can enter into EHCP folder and there, there is a script of cell script of install.sh file. From there we can install the EHCP control panel the good thing about EHCP it supported latest version of Debian Ubuntu and other operating systems also supported by EHCP the look of EHCP control panel is very clean and specific there are also a good options in ehcp so after extracting we can log in oh sorry we can enter in the ehcp directory and install.sh we can run the install.sh file from here it will ask a few questions here you can see Easy hosting control panel for Ubuntu, Debian and Alix, ehcp.net, we can enter, continue to enter, continue, so it will get updated package from Debian site, install uh, services and utilities which is necessary for ehcp control panel. You can see here it's uh, also unpacking Python ISO codes and other packages. Installation will take uh, 5 or 10 minutes. Now we can enter. It will ask you a domain name as well as IP address also and password. The default password for EHCP is 1234. Here we can give the 1234 password. Okay. 1234 password. Okay. It's a MySQL server password. When the MySQL module is installed, they it will ask a question. What password you want to set in 
MySQL server. Now you can see it's stopping database server MySQL D and after some time it will start it automatically. Here is a starting MySQL server as I said before. Enter your name. So I give my name Sahil. Mail ID server father at gmail.com. MySQL password 1234. One two three four is our password. Enter EHCP panel admin new password. So if you don't want to give any password, default password is one two three four. So uh, I'm using default password. But I suggest uh, everyone uh, please use your password and uh, good password. You can also find some files host name okay I'm giving the server father.com as a host name and enter your IP and default English yes yes It'll download a further needed modules and packages from Debian sites setting up now PHP modules PHP 5 modules and related extension like my crypts unpacking and processing now reloading Apache 2 now it's about to round cube core we can use MySQL 1 2 3 4 is our database 1 2 3 4 is our database password 1 2 3 4 Or round cube. Round cube is a client side application for mail. And now here we can configure PHP my admin. Yes. Password is one two three four. Enter. Again one two three four. And okay enter. One two three four. Okay. Apache server. So first we have to select the Apache server from spacebar and use tab for move your cursor and I am clicking on OK. Give the enter, press enter key. OK, yes. Do you want to continue? Yes. Okay, postfix configuration, it's an internet site. Okay. Okay, system mail name. So we can't use, uh, we can use the live server, server, live server, live domain name, sorry. Spiderfinder.in. It's our domain name for testing purpose. Okay.
Here, courier base, yes, create web directories. Courier SSL configuring, yes. Its use is for email. So here you can see step by step it's asking a question. For installation. Once you run the cell script, you don't have to do anything, just give the answers of questions and your EHCP control panel is ready to use. After the installation, you can access your control panel through your IP address slash EHCP. Then you found the login screen, username and a password. So usually username is admin and password is the default password we use the here is 1234. So it's configuring several services. But believe me the look of EHCP is pretty good. Easy to use. Not that much of options and lightweight version now here you can see your ehcp is ready for use so we can see in login this was needed to be open redirected TCP plus UDB and if you have any problem or you can join it from info at ehcp.net Hi, I am Sahil from serverfather.com After installation of uh, ehcp you can log in with admin and password is default 1234 and here is login here you can see the notice the little link your dns server ip is not set and you have to setting it so after login you can configure the binds and setting so now you can see you can able so look is really nice and easy to use in next video we can see how to use ehcp server how to add domain each and everything how to configure your email your squirrel mail round cube how to use it how to configure your bind server so thanks for watching this video like it share it and comment it if you had any kind of problem you can comment it below the box thanks a lot i am sahil from serverfather.com